<laughs> Happy New Year. Okay. Hello, YouTube. We're back with another banger. Let's go. Another banger. Banger. Okay. Let's give a big round of applause for the pie. I guess he likes pie. Okay. Okay, Mr. Pie. So help us do number one, please. Okay. So since since F equals five. Yes. And there's a what's that that to call that? Okay. That's called a, a, a exponent. Ex yes. So, so it's exponent. weird. By the way, when you show your work for this, you should use a parenthesis. So tell me what to write, please. Oh, right. Um, do five. Right. So I'm going to write five where the f is, and I'm going to put the variable on top of it, right? Uh -huh. So now our problem is five squared plus three. So please make sure everybody that you show your work like this on your paper, please, please. Okay, go ahead. Equals. It equals 28. Right. How? Oh, because five times... Five times five yes. equals twenty-five, plus three more equals twenty-eight. That's right. So the answer is twenty-eight because we did five times five first, which pie. makes twenty-five, and then we added three. Good job, pie. It's creamy pie. Okay, next person is May. Because we don't have a code name yet. I'm not here. Where um, are you coming from, May? The Philippines. The Philippines. Woo! Okay. All right. So, oops, I got the wrong marker. Okay. Uh, how do we do number two? For number two, since um, it's eight parentheses. Right. So you want to show your work with the parentheses here. Good. Eight parentheses. Three. Three. And then uh, negative two. And then parentheses another negative two. Very good. Now, I like how she said negative two instead of minus two, but... A lot of times we do read these problems like negative, but it's easier, it's better, it, you're more likely to get the right answer when you say negative. Anyway, okay, go ahead. Uh, seven, okay, um, eight times three is 24. Yes. And then, uh, plus that, and then negative two multiplied negative two is, um, is equal to 4. Positive 4. Or positive so 4. So both of these problems were equal to 28, right? All right, let's hear it from May. And now we got the devious Oompa Loompa coming all the way from the chocolate, chocolate factory. factory. All right. Okay, Chocolate Factory, how do we do? Okay, pick a color. Uh, Green. Green. All right, how do we do number 3? So you do 5 times 3. Oh, no, yeah. three, so five I'm going to show X. my arrows, right? Five and three, yeah. and then five to ten. Okay, go ahead. So yeah, five times three uh, equals 15. Mm -hmm. It's 15 X. Mm -hmm. And then uh, positive, uh, oh no, then you do te uh, 10 times five, and that's 50. Mm -hmm. and okay, then, cool. Yeah. Next one, I'm going to do my arrows from. Oh, yeah. So yeah, four to Two x and then four uh -huh. to uh, negative five. Okay, and these are both negative times negative makes a positive. positive. And then so yeah, four times two uh, equals eight, but it's eight x. And then four times five is twenty. Okay, both are positive. Very good. Okay, and next we have um um um. Who are you again? Mike You're... Tyson. Wait, you were doing number 10. It's supposed to be the letter A right now. Yeah, yeah the letter A. So the letter A is coming up. Actually, okay, go ahead, letter A. How do we do this problem? Uh, so my arrows, right? Yeah, the arrows. Okay. We're kind of running out of time, so I'll just do it quickly. Arrow, arrow. Okay, now what? Uh, since X equals 1, um, 3 times X equals 3X. Three 3X, three cool. And then... Since positive times negative, it would be a negative, mm -hmm. so it would be a negative 15. Minus. 15. What is it? 15. Yeah, negative, 15. negative 15. Very good. Next one, we're doing one half of both of these. Now, you could do the fractions like this one half times four over one, four divided by two is two, or you could just think half, take half of it. So, half of four is two, two x. And half of ten? Five. Five. That's it. Okay, cool. Okay, Spider-Man, you're going to do number ten. Oh, 
Hold on, you're doing number Am two. Am I doing eight too? So Spider-Man, what you got for seven? Well, first you get the X, so 7X and 5X. From 7X and 5, you get what? You get 12X. Very good, 12X. We and add then, those two together. Mm -hmm. And then and you then, do negative 6. Oh, you do good guys, bad guys. Uh -huh. And then you put the 6 and the bad guys. Uh -huh. And then good guys went by 3. Good, are so we then, done? Yeah, we yeah. can't add those together. That's right. Okay, and we got to go super quick on this. Go uh, 7 minus 3, yeah, you can go. Thank you. Okay. Seven and two makes the guys win by five, right? And then for our numbers by themselves, we got eight and negative ten, right? Bad guys win by two. Five y minus two. Okay. All right. Now let's see. Let me do nine and you can do ten, okay? Because we're just running out of time. So we divide by four. You don't want to divide by two because it's not the greatest common factor. Okay, eight divided by four is what? Two. Okay. And 12 divided by four is what? Three. Okay, now you can check your answer. Okay, Mike Tyson, you ready? Let's hear it from Mike Tyson. What? Okay, bell's gonna ring soon, go quick. All right, divide by seven. Negative, careful. Careful, because the first number is negative. Okay. So, positive 3, yes. Positive 3, because it's negative divided by negative. Excellent. And positive 2. Right. Hold on. I'm not done yet. I'm going to look to see if everybody wrote all this down. 